So here's the file, very easy to distinguish because of the date code and the fact it says final instead of draft. But this is not in a place that we can really share with the rest of the world. So in order to do that, you're going to make a new folder in Google Drive and do some sharing there. So I've given you a good name for this, which is all caps, portfolio files, do not delete. This is to help you remember that, hey, these files, I'm using them somewhere. So when you're cleaning up your Google Drive and you're clearing stuff out, not actually necessary with your school account because you never run out of space, you are going to put them in here and leave this folder alone. So I'm going to control C copy, go to my Google Drive and make a new folder. Pasting that name in there and creating it is the first step. You'll notice it's alphabetical. I have one here that's already been shared. I'm going to do that again with this one. Notice that there is a little person on the folder. That's how you know it's been shared. This one has not. Now there are several places to get to the share. Uh, when you've got that folder selected, there's a share button right here. If there's three little dots, there's the share option right there. If you right click on it, you can get to share this way. If you are in the folder, then you click on this three little dots right here. And that will also take you to share. By default, these folders are only people with access. Your stuff is private to you. You want to change that so that anyone with the link can get to files that are in this folder. That way we can put them on a website and people can see them. So we simply have changed that to anyone with the link. I also want you to share it with mhix4 so that I can help with this as well. For the message, this time I would like to get an email. You could simply type that in again, control V paste, and that way I'll be able to easily set these aside for when I need to. That will send an email to me. Now there's nothing in this folder yet, so let's go ahead and add our file from our video project folder. So go to your OneDrive Northeast video project folder and find that final one. If you do export another version at some point, then you would of course remove the old one from here, add the new one, and get the link to that. Now with Google Sites, you don't actually have to copy and paste a link. You can simply add from Google Drive and find this folder fairly easily. It's all caps, so it's going to be easy to find this. Just remember, once that's uploaded and you try to watch it, at first it will be processing. It will take a while before it gets to the highest level, the 1080p quality, but right now it's in the right place and could be added to your Google Site.